Hey guys, I'm Aitya and welcome back. Um, today we're going to be looking at the second uh, automatic uh, mining machine that Radiocraft has and that is the uh, Sonic Borer. We're also going to be looking at the uh, item vacuum because we're going to be using this in conjunction with the Sonic Borer. The Sonic Borer works uh, like the ordinary borer except um, it's sort of like a, a remote block break. It doesn't pick up the items that the items drop um, and it's also directional so so let's get into it. It's pretty base panels, the compressor, it's pretty easy to make. Iron bars and the pipe, it's pretty easy. Uh, it does require uh, 4,096 newton meters of torque at 65,000 uh, watts, which is essentially the power of a uh, um, a gasoline engine, but you're going to need to up the the, um, the torque quite a bit on one of those things. But uh, just in the meantime, we're going to use a uh, an industrial core which has a max of 124 newton meters so we're just going to 4x gearbox that up and we're going to use the item vacuum to pick up all the blocks that the sonic borer has broken it's pretty easy impeller uh, it does require black wool so you can't get it with ordinary wool uh, full HSL steel and a chest yeah so there we go so let's just get this thing set up uh, this uh, machine actually I want to get I'll use marble instead. Um, the Sonic Borer mines in a 5x5, five five. Uh, so we're gonna do it off the edge here. Hopefully skeletons aren't watching to shoot me off, so. Okay, and there. I'm gonna make it a little bit more bigger. So if I put the Sonic Borer here, it'll essentially, it will mine this bit as well. So, just keep that in mind. Okay, uh, I'm gonna break uh, this one. Gonna put the sonic borer there. Gonna put the screwdriver right click on it so it green boxes upwards. So the input in there. Have I got a bevel? Yes, I do. Hopefully this one works. Okay, so the input needs to be opposite. So the input should be east, and the output should be down. Yep, I've got that right. Uh, I'm gonna put this coil there. Uh, put the gearbox in there. It should be on torque. Yes, it's gonna be. The, it's gonna need some canola. Okay, I'm gonna need to make myself another lever as well. Of course, aren't I? Actually, I should make another one because uh, I will be needing another one for another coil. Okay, there we go. Two levers. That's required. I'm going to set this machine so it goes at 1024 newton meters, which is gets a uh, four rack stuff until into 4096 newton meters torque for the sonic borer. I'm going to go at max speed here, um, radians, which will get down by four. So we're going to use a 256 rads. Um, obviously, if we went faster, the sonic borer will go faster. Uh, okay, so before we get that set up, we're going to set up the the, what is it? The um, the did I pull it out? Uh, yeah, I didn't pull it. Pull it out, did I? No, item vacuum. So we're gonna chuck a, another coil down. Okay, so we want it there, so the sonic borer doesn't break it. Uh, actually, sh sonic borer shouldn't break it. It'll break it will break this, but not there. So we can put the that one there. Um, this thing essentially will suck in almost everything including XP uh, it requires uh, 16,000 watts essentially pretty easy to get it's uh, the range however uh, is difficult so basically on the base input you'll get about 8 meters or so but we're gonna chuck in um, uh, pretty much everything from a industrial call so we should be able to reach um, Y level or bedrock uh, but I haven't actually tested from this height, so we might not be able to do it, but from an ordinary uh, test world I was able to reach bedrock, so put this one on maximum as well 1024 Put a lever down. Well, oh, actually that lever is gonna Turn on that one isn't it? Yep I'll put it there. No, because that's gonna break when I do that uh, uh, There we go That'll work. 
Okay, time to turn on the Sonic Borer. Hopefully everything goes well. As you can see, you get a... A shockwave. And... That will keep on going until it gets to the bedrock. And at the point when it gets to the bedrock, the shockwave essentially bounces back and will break this platform and the Sonic Borer. So, hence that's why we've got a thing over there to suck items up. Okay, so might as well just um, turn the item vacuum on and it should just start sucking things up. Obviously there's uh, something in the way of course. Yes. It, it may not be like the most effective uh, uh, automatic mining system you can get in the modded Minecraft world, but it, it sure is hilarious. Uh, we're going to probably have to take some stuff out soon. Uh, have I got a chest somewhere? Oh, I've got a chest. Gotta dump this stuff. Doop doop. I'll sort this stuff out later. <laughs> it's gonna run out of space soon. Okay, we should be getting closer to the bottom. Uh, yep, there we go, and that's it, breaking apart, and you'll notice that the Sonic Borer except gets uh, broken as well and falls down the hole, hence why we have the item vacuum here to pick it back up for us. Uh, let's grab some more stuff so it can fill up. So that is the uh, item vacuum and the Sonic Borer. Which of course is my favourite um, mining implement there is. And as you can see, it will also pick up, um, the item vacuum will pick up uh, chicken eggs, uh, rotten flesh. As you can see, that that skeleton died down there. He, did he drop anything? No. But as you can imagine, you can also get it to pick up, um, yep, there we go, some bones. So obviously a skeleton died down there and the item vacuum was able to pick it up. And of course, it picked up six points of experience as well. Nice. Uh, if you want to get the uh, experience out of that, just um, shift right click on it with um, a screwdriver. I think that should, uh, works. Wait on, screwdriver. Wait on, uh, it's, uh, wait on. To extract the stored XP, right click with a screwdriver while sneaking. I did that, right? Sneak. Shh, right click. Maybe it's not enough to extract, so yeah, there we go. That's about it for today, guys. Um, if you like it, hit the like button, that would help. So um, subscribe um, if you want to see more of this stuff. And until next time. Yeah.